Have you ever wanted to turn your geometry node setup into a Blender add-on, but not knowing any Python stopped you? Well, there's a Blender add-on that can help you generate an add-on that will contain your geometry node setup. And the best part, it's free. If you're new here, I'm Victor Stepanoff, and I love helping artists learn the Python programming language. Let me show you a quick demo of this add-on. Okay, I'm in Blender and I have a basic geometry node setup. I turn the default cube into this current setup, which we have a string to curves node, and I've moved the string as a uh, input of the group node so I can uh, input the text right here. So very basic, and let me show you how this add-on works. I have it already installed, uh, and in the geometry nodes uh, window right here, I'm gonna scroll down right here and select uh, node to Python. And I'm going to select, this uh, add-on also works uh, by creating scripts, just basic scripts that are not add-ons. Okay, so uh, you can update, for, you probably wanna update the location where you want this, this add-on to be saved. So I've updated that. Uh, also make sure to rename your geometry node setup um, because that's gonna be the name that you'll be using when you're gonna be distributing your add-on. Uh, I think those are the main things that you should uh, worry about. Of course, you can play around with the other fields. Uh, and to generate that add-on, unfortunately, uh, that's one of the things that I probably would like to have like a generate code button, but um, may maybe I'm missing something. But here to generate, you need to select the geometry nodes and hit that. And at the bottom, you can see that uh, save geometry node group to and then the path that you've provided above. Okay, so that was basically it. Let's take a look at, into that folder. Okay, you can see that now I have a zip archive. We can take a look inside of that archive and we'll see a, a basic setup of an add-on with a license, a Blender a Manifest Toml. So this is the new extensions format that you might have heard about. And then we have the Python file itself. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside of the Python file. And if we look at inside of the Python file, we have the old blinfo dictionary, which is uh, the remnants of the old way that we would create add-ons. Um, maybe this is for like backward compatibility, I'd probably uh, say. So we have the class that's defining all, all like the node network itself, and we have the code of that node network right here. Of course, my node setup is super basic, uh, and it, the, there's not a lot of code here. But once, once you uh, start working with bigger node setups, this is gonna get pretty, pretty wild. Now, if you're interested in understanding what exactly this code is doing, I have a dedicated community for artists who are interested in learning Python. In this community, I help get you started without any prior knowledge. This community is totally free and inside of the community, there's actually a totally free course that will help you get started with Blender Python. And if that's something that you're interested in, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. Okay, so that's our code and let's see how this code looks when we install it into Blender. So let me open another Blender instance. Okay, I've opened another Blender instance. Let me go ahead and install from disk. So I've navigated to the folder with that add-on with the geometry node setup. So I'm gonna hit install from disk. And now we have this uh, extension installed uh, and it's showing me everything that uh, is defined in that code. Okay, let's go into the geometry nodes uh, workspace and then hit new. And then, oh, search for text gen, it's right there. And let's, let me move myself out of the way, this is a test. And let me deselect that and look at that. Now we have that geometry node set up as an add-on. And if you like that, you can find this add-on on the Blender extensions platform under node to Python. It's a really handy extension as you can see. Uh, and make sure if you're gonna use it, give it a five-star rating because it's a really great work. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you wanna see more of this type of content, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.